Oh yeah. I mean, it's 420 somewhere. Oh yeah. Right? It's your boy D Forbes from the block. And this here. Oh man, pass me. Pass it's me smoke break. This. You know what I'm saying? All the way up here on cloud 21. Guess what I got up here with me? A Sinatra. You know what I'm saying? And T Lafayette. What's up? What's up? What's up? We're still not sure on the pronunciation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how I pronounce it. You know, La that's how I pronounce it for my name, at least. Lafayette. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Lafayette, Lafayette. Potato, potato. All right. Yeah. Big up, big up. Hey, what up, baby? Man, it's all good, man. Appreciate you having us, man. Appreciate you coming yeah, through. Appreciate you coming through. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy, man. I'm all the way up to crowd 21, man. You know what I'm saying? The spaceship caught a flat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah man. But we here. Yeah. We here. We here. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all record down here. It's Villa Cooler Media. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Talk to me about what y'all got going on, man. But first, first, before we get into that, y'all are uh, a hip hop couple. Say to say. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Right. How is that? Going to the clubs and stuff like that, you know, I'm sure the thirsty is trying to, you know, <laughs> whatever. And I mean, by the first I mean, I don't. <laughs> we just got out of winter season, all well, right? You know, look, skinny niggas was pushed to the side for winter season. So I'm just saying, you know, how do y'all deal with going to the club, man? Being a hip hop man and just dealing with, you know, the shit that we do deal with, man. Do you ever like, rub you the wrong way? You ever deal with jealousy? Like, what? Not really, man. We just be in our own little, little bubble, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's jealousy, all that's part of the game, man. You know, and you also have fans and people show love. We we we, we cater to the thirsties too, you know what I'm saying? Gotta Come on. Maybe we can put you in a video or something, you know what I'm saying? So, it's all love, man. You know, we're just trying to live. Gotta love the thirsties. Thirsties need love. No yeah, doubt. Down, no down. Down. So how long have y'all been a hip hop couple? And furthermore, how long have y'all, you know, been in the business and been doing music? Well, I'm not even gonna say how long I've been doing music. Very long time. Very long. <laughs> but, <laughs> as far as us being a hip hop couple, about 10, 12 years. 10 to 12 years? Yeah. That's commitment. Well, yeah. we, we haven't been really focused. At the beginning, we were just playing with it. You know what I'm saying? How everybody, you know, we record music, you know, just sit on it, whatever, listen to it. Yeah. Uh, in the last, I say, five years, we really got real serious with it. Okay. Um, as far as like pushing it and uh, getting everything copywritten and everything like that. Yeah. Show. Big ups, big ups, big ups. So, have you guys ever, you know, gotten into an argument before a show? Uh, yeah, often. Yeah. yeah, quite often. Does it affect the performance? You guys have to go out no. there and mean mugging and shit? Because we, we already know, as soon as we, you know, we leave that in the car, you know, just between us, as soon as we get around people or we hit a stage or get in the venue, it's left at his door. You won't even know we, you know what I'm saying? I just cussed him out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so, no. so do we hear wedding bells in the future? <laughs> well, that happened about three years ago. <laughs> three, four years ago. Yeah. I noticed the drip wasn't shining too, too crazy. Now, I, I would imagine you guys, you guys, you jumped the broom. Did you ask her the qualifying question? Oh, man, it just it happened naturally, man. Like I say, uh, we met. Uh, I, I have always been into music uh, since I was a kid. Uh, and, you know, you meet a lot of people who, who are not as good as they put on to be. So when I met her, she was like, I rap. I was like, in my head, I was like, okay, well, okay, what else is new? We got all, everybody raps, right? So she spit me her 16, I was like, I was very impressed. So that's how we, you know what I'm saying, locked in. And, We've been uh, we've been rocking ever since, man. So everything's just natural with us, like for real. We don't try too hard. We don't, you know, say force anything. Everything happened natural. So it was love at first spit, safe to say. Basically, it was. Pretty much, yeah, because that was, yeah, that was like what our first date pretty much entailed. In the studio. <laughs> well, no, we it wasn't the in studio. the studio, but you we know, my crib was just kicking bars to each other. Yeah, know, pretty much. Real talk. Okay. Had to make me believe him. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Can we get an ashtray over here on Cloud 21? <laughs> all right, all right. So, what we got coming up in the name? Oh, man, we got, we got, we got uh, singles out right now. We're pushing the singles. We're doing the single thing. We're okay. going to put a full okay. project out until the anticipation is built up. Okay. So, we work with you. Yeah, yeah, basically. So, yeah, we, uh, we got ashtray out. We got extra out. I like uh, extra. We got another single out called Jealous <laughs> that's about to drop. Called just, Jealous. Jealous. Yes, Jealous. Yeah. And we just, we work in the singles market, man. We out here doing shows. Uh, we on Truth in the Booth with Absolute out there at Chaotic Chaotic, Studios. you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 so uh, we everywhere, man. <coughs> 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 yeah, man. <coughs> <coughs> we 
ran into you at um, Nipsey Vigil. Oh, yeah. We yeah, had yeah. run into people. Yeah. <laughs> true story, true yeah. story. That's I was out there at Nipsey Vigil, man. That was beautiful, man. Man, yeah. did, did that hit home for y'all? Oh, it really did, man. Did yeah. y'all feel, feel like it's gas? When I, I'll be honest, when he was alive, shout out to R.P. Nipsey Hussle. When he was alive, I wasn't the biggest fan of the music. Per se, yeah. Be, because I just felt like, you know, whatever the case may be, you know. Yeah. Uh, he, he's Nothing gone, so we gonna talk about it. I, I wasn't the biggest fan of his rap, right? Yeah. But um, I like the way he moved. <coughs> I like that he was a family man. I like that he gave back to, I like everything about that aspect. You know okay. what I'm saying? Um, so I believe, you know, and then he just had the big album last year, the Victory Lap, Victory. right? That was yeah. nominated for a Grammy. <laughs> Unfortunately, he lost to Cardi B, but you know what I'm saying? That's weird. Well, should have won that. Well, you know, they got him back on there now this year, so he might win <laughs> this year. Of course, of course. You know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? Um, that's that's. A but good. yeah, I don't feel like his gas. I really feel like he was a, a instrumental part of hip hop, and we really needed him. Yeah. But the good thing is he inspired so many other artists, like myself and T, yeah. uh, to, to keep paying it forward, man. Big hey. ups, big ups. So were you guys like, you know, strong in this Fossil fans after, of course, like, how much did you know? How much were you aware of what he was doing in the community? Oh, like I was that? very aware of what he was doing in the community. You know what I'm saying? Cause I keep working. Yeah, before he died. So that's why it really hit hard for me. Cause I'm like, no, you know what I'm saying? I was still getting to know more about him, but I had I already knew that he bought the, um, you know, the corn over there on Crenshaw and Slauson. Yeah. Yeah. We had the um, training center going. I knew about that. I knew about the Dr. Sabi, um, rest in peace, Dr. Sabi as well. I knew about that documentary. So I was in tune with, you know, how he had his boots to the ground. So it really hurt because I was like, yeah. he was doing it. Like he was going. I was pushing for him, like, go, Nipsey, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And man, that happened. So yeah, that, that hurt. I think it hurt the community. That joint's crazy. That joint's crazy. And Dallas, amongst other cities, definitely came out, showed. Oh, yeah. Extra love. Yeah. Yeah. Extra love. Okay, so, so, favorite record that you guys have ever done together before we take a quick break? Favorite record for me that we've done together is the Extra. I mean, I know it's recent. <laughs> extra slap. But yeah, yeah, that's, I love that record. I like performing it. I like the uh, reaction that we get when we, you know, when it's played. Yeah. All right. Ashtray is my favorite song. Ashtray. I always gravita gravitate towards the Smoker song, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Smoke Break. You know I'll be like, saying? it's been a minute since we did a Smoke song. We gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, that's how Ashtray was born, and I love that song. All right. Big up, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna spin that joint here in a little second. No but doubt. we're gonna get back to y'all on the block, you know what I'm saying? We'll be right back. Smoke Break, tell your friend. Pro, what's up? Pro, what's up? Pro, what's up? I'm like, what's good? Cause my nigga pulling up with a big bag of that good grass Let me get it for a good coin She got that ass on her, but she only speaks foreign I blow a bag on her, she gon' wanna keep going All kind of gas, boy, you know what we on Ass straight full of green leaf, that's a four, you know it I'm addicted to this and I know it, know it, know it But that's how I deal with this bullshit, I smoke, I smoke I just watching this drama unfold Inhale, exhale Inhale, exhale Yeah Closed eyes on my knees, Ray Lewis Plenty green in the field, no cooning I'm just floating like a motherfucking genie Stuck like a Jewish to his beanie Full of gas, motor skills, no usage Same bitches every day from an ass whooping Half woke, half baked like I'm dreaming Lit like the candle hole, meaning Headband strapped on with Gorilla Glue Guaranteed to get it wet If she's feeling you aphrodisiac Make her wanna call a friend through Now you hitting two should look nice, boo. Come ride with me. We can get okay. high as you like. Rotation, which is three of us. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know what? On the reunion episode, smoke break. We might do a little of that '70s show. Sit around and struggle. Pick a couple of better notes. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. I definitely appreciate y'all coming through, baby. For sure, always. All right, all right. Now. Okay, I gotta ask you guys a tough question. All right, this is my job. Okay, so extras out, right? Yes. Sir. Okay, we got ashtray out. Yes. Sir. Okay, let's say they have some success. You guys go overseas for maybe six months. You come back to the United States. Uh, you sell out private bars, baby rangies. Um, 
Love and Hip Hop comes to Dallas. Are we signing up? <laughs> it's a no for me, bro. No, it's a no. I don't. Yes. Do, I don't do. You know yes, that everybody. No. <laughs> you notice that everybody who do the reality TV thing, mm -hmm. even though it's not really reality, it's like set up. Okay. You notice all the couples that do that, they end up broken up. Like even Hulk Hogan and his wife, they oh, did the and they had a, yeah. a major success with that. Oh no, was that Hulk Hogan's wife fucking like a, a, a little dude? Or something? Yeah, it's like she cheated on the young guy, girl, but he was cheating. They was both like going ham against each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the thing is, like when you bring the cameras around, it's like bad juju, bad vibes, yeah. bad yeah. energy. It yeah. opens up a lot. Of shit. Yeah, it puts people in your business. You Thanks. acting different now because you're not acting regular because the cameras here. Thanks. You dig what I'm saying? So nah, not in the house. Now when I step out, you can follow me, but nah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's a no for you. It's a no for me too. Same thing. I don't need the cameras all in our house. And then you got a million different people with their opinions on what you should have did in that situation or what. When if it wasn't for the cameras, we'd be all good. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's a no for me as well. Seems like y'all had a taste of some reality TV going on. No, 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 no. You guys watch Snap in the house? Snap. Snap. Oh yeah. 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 You know, I, uh, invested, what is it? I, I, ID? Oh uh, yeah, we be on the ID First channel like the all that, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey. So you know what not to do. <laughs> uh oh, I'm... Are you the only one that don't watch it or something? You don't look. No. You don't allow it in your house? <laughs> She's like, no, no, she ain't watching it. I think that's how I go to sleep most nights. Watch I mean, I think if you had that idea, if you gonna do that, you had that idea before you watched it. Yeah. If you watched it, then you probably was just trying to get an idea of how to go about it. Shit, that's what I think. You know what I'm saying? So is that why y'all don't be entertaining Thursdays at the club? I mean, <laughs> walk in, CT watching Snap in the middle of the night. Nah, it's, no, it don't scare me though. No, no, no. It don't scare me. Like, it's type. entertaining, like really. It, I mean, it's a sad situation that happened, <coughs> but it's like this motherfucker really like killed his wife for the insurance money. You dumb motherfucker. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, they wild. They wild, man. That's what it is. That's what it is. So how many records would you say that you guys have done together over the course of your guys' relationship? Oh. I would say, uh, I'm thinking maybe about 50 or more? 50 or 100? Somewhere between 50 and 100. Yeah. I don't know. Because if we had so much unreleased, unreleased stuff, music, music that was things that we've done, you know, yes. featured on other people's stuff yes. together, it's, it's okay. like, man. Now, now, why unreleased? Like, why, why the wait? Why hope? Well, you know, at the beginning, when you don't have uh, adequate funding, um, maybe relationships, uh, you know, are broken. You know, you get into it with the producer. Whatever happened, man, the music just never came out. Yeah. And we elevate. You know, it didn't stop nothing. It happened. It happened. I think that's why Vanilla Ice never dropped another record. They ended up hanging them over about something. Oh, broken relationship there as well. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. True story, true story. For real. So, where are you guys going with these three records that you guys have? The new joints, the ashtrays, the extras. What was that on your name? Uh, jealous. Yeah. Jealous. Where are you guys going with this? Right? Hair, you just just let them solely go with singles. Are you guys redirecting and got a project, you know, under wraps? Maybe we got to get it right here. No, we don't have a project under wraps, but we are gonna let the singles go just like you said, so we can yeah. catch traction and then maybe you know how depending on how it goes it's do a full weird. album right. if that's what the fans are asking for for real if you do i wouldn't mind album, doing it if you do a full album these days with no anticipation it'll probably flop you know yeah what I'm saying? it gotta be but if you drop one. a few singles and people are like okay who is you know what i'm saying what's going on then you drop the project on and copy. Right. That's, that's, that's good game that's good game right there so with y'all being a Clearly a successful hip hop couple as far as you guys' relationship is concerned. You guys are growing up with music. What advice can you hand down to other hip hop couples in this industry? You know what I'm saying? Just as far as staying on track, stay focused on the music. Man, stick together. First of all, you know what I'm saying? It's you and that person against the world. And that's how we roll. It's like, okay, it's us against the world. So we don't let nobody else infiltrate what we got going on over here. Not family, not friends, not. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? Especially outsiders, because there's a lot of people that has came in and rolled up to me like, oh, you good, you don't need to be with him, you don't need him, you know, I, you, you a good enough rapper by yourself, and same thing to him. So I say, you know, make sure that that bond is tight and y'all stick together. Okay, okay. Did you have that? Same thing, man, just stay humble. <coughs> uh, 
stay humble, um, stay focused, stay away from negative energy, man, and uh, just keep working. You know, it's all about the journey, man. So, let's say major record label walks into Villa Cooler right now. He's like, hey, <coughs> That's some good weed, by the way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He walks in. Yeah, that's, that's that that's rapper. What happens is smoke break. They're certified. Yeah, this, this, this is what it's for. Yeah. This is what it's for. I got to say, I'm going to say it on the record, man. You guys have had some of the, some of the most top-notch cream coming through here. Oh, man. So congratulations. Appreciate congratulations. It, congratulations. Now, a major walks into Villa Cooler Media right now. He says, Ace, hey, you know what I'm saying? Despite your amazing weed, I got $3 million for you. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta come with me right now. You know what I'm saying? Just A. Just A. What are we doing? He going. He's going? Hell yeah, yeah. No hard for me. No. Nah. I'm gonna stop Not it right all. now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I gotta know what we doing. I gotta see the contract, you know what I'm saying? Cause they can throw you that three million, but the contract is fucked. I think he's just really asking. If the contract was A1? No, not, not even about the contract per se, but if somebody wanted to come and take one of us by ourselves with the money, would we go? If the contract was right, you know, depending on if, if it's something in favor, like, right? If the contract, if they don't give right. us like creative yeah. control, the cat's out of the bag. They both watch snap. Okay. I'm not going. I need that creative control, man. I need that. But if I'm saying if they only wanted you and not me, that's the question, really. Yeah. Yeah, it's three million dollars. Or if yours. they only wanted me and not you, we both win. Right. Okay, so so. Yeah. So if they only wanted T Lafayette and not a Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. You're coming anyway. I'm yeah. Coming. <laughs> You're going to be right there. All right. All right. Well, hey, that's what it is. <laughs> Stick together. Stay strong. Stay right. right. You know what I'm saying? I love the black love thing, baby. So, before we get up out of here, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to need y'all to let them know exactly where we can find it. Facebook, Instagram, you know, the MySpaces. Huh? Oh, man. Fuck hey, MySpaces is back popping. Hey, we got to get back to that. I heard <laughs> MySpaces is getting popping. Yeah. Yeah. Every outlet. See, it's Wait. just like, I feel like top eight just causes problems. Yeah. <laughs> I want to jump. Go ahead. Uh, you find us, you can find us everywhere on every social media outlet, pretty much. The Remedy, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, on IG, Twitter, it's A Sinatra, T Lafayette. You know what I'm saying? We everywhere. Big ups. Big yep. ups. All right. Well, hey, I greatly appreciate y'all coming through to the block. You know what I'm saying? Going all the way up on Cloud 21 with me. Hey, y'all. Hey. This was another episode of Smoke Break. T Lafayette, A Sinatra. Tell your friends. Hey, yo, back to y'all down there on the block. You know what I'm saying? We up out of here. Hey, be careful on the way down, okay? <laughs>